you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. <clears throat> Mamu Gochi, I want you to know that you are before the elders, and all we need from you is the truth and nothing but the truth. Let me ask you, did you open your mouth to explain to them that their uncle and were collected money from you and gave you those plantains in return? Did you? I want to know. I don't know I should have explained to them. that You would have told them before asking me to go and harvest the plantains. You see? You acted on assumptions, and that is the problem now. Uh, all I'm saying is that if she collected money from Uncle Ono, she should go back to him and collect her money. I will not release them. How many times do I have to tell you? Tradition of our people. What tradition? What tradition? They offer the what tradition? A woman suffered to clear her husband's piece of land, bought plantain seedlings, planted them, nurtured them till they grew and began yielding. Then another woman from nowhere comes to harvest them and you call that tradition. That nonsense tradition will come to an end today. That nonsense, nonsense tradition will come to an end today because my sister and I, we do not care for it one bit. Do you hear me? Who gave you the impetus to think that you can change an ancient tradition? Who? Oh my God! Hey, what I know? I'm on the phone. Um, thanks. You and your sister should release those plantains to her. That is my decision. Mamu Gochi. As for the fighting, you cost it. You cost it for not telling them what transpired between you and uh, oh no. You didn't tell them. So it is your fault. So that settles the matter. Now you know. I've heard all you have said. Thank you very much. If you look at that, I can't happen. Mona choose away, ligide, ligide, ligide. I thought you are incapable of dealing with that. I am going to take it. Oh, we are not going to be suitable for that. Now, when you are now, my help, get case, get more case, not a web. I am going to go to my wife. I am going to go to my wife. I am going to go to my wife. You are walking out on us. You are walking out on us. Out of my way. If you walk in my way. I don't know what is wrong with children of nowadays. See? How can Kamsi be bold enough to challenge and oppose the decisions of women? It's your fault. You see, we ought to be very careful. Yes. The way we draw the line between traditions and wickedness. Mm. Yes. Is it not too early for uh, uh, Onowa to start selling his late brother's land and farm produce? It's really early. Eh? It's early. Must he sell all those things as if his life is tied to his? Look, this is wickedness. It's too bad of him. Very bad of him. You see, some people hide under the guise of tradition to exclude wickedness. You see? Onowa is wicked. Very soon, the farm season will be over. Yes. Huh? If these girls will look for a farm and they will not find any, how would they survive? Huh? Is it not by this, uh, uh, from this uh, uh, farm produce and land that they should fall back on? Exactly. <laughs> what you're saying is right. You are right. Huh? But all the same, uh, tradition is tradition. We cannot go against the tradition. Ah, it's your fault. I know what you are talking about. I'm not against tradition, okay? 
But, but I want you to understand that uh, tradition were made by men yes. and could be corrected by men yes. as well. Yes. More especially those traditions, you know, that are inhuman and uh, devilish. That's mm. what I'm talking about. We are correct. All this we are correct. But when they are like, eh? stupid children. How can somebody finish buying something and stupid girls will just collect it from them? Eh? I know what. I know what. I know what. Oh, give me. Go in and call your husband to come and give me money. Now! Which money? Go and call your husband! Stop asking me stupid questions. Mamu Gochi. Hey, Gomu! What happened now? Those useless nieces of yours. Fought me and collected the plantain. I am not buying the game. Let me go. You mean. You mean Kamsi and her sister they fought you over the plantain? Okay, now do my wasabi. Give me my money. I didn't go on my phone. Let me go see. Hey, back in the the heart of man is weak. Where you going to my man? Oh, come on. 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 Come are you answering my questions with another? Huh? It is true that the land now belongs to you. But were you the one that planted the plantain? Did you plant it? Did you nurture it? Did you see it yield? Mba. Go in there and get me those plantains right now. I said, go in there and get me those plantains. I can now see the reason you refuse to get married. To stay back and drag lands and crops with me, eh? Eh? I will tell you that your case is a camu case. Your case is minor. Your case is open kupu. Hmm. Can't see you. You. <laughs> you. I want to make it clear to every one of us present that I am not ready and will never resign as the general overseer of this great ministry. I have the certificate of incorporation. The deeds to all the landed property owned by this ministry, they are all in my possession and I will not give it to anybody. So, if you are not comfortable with my leadership, the door is open for you. Thank you. We have heard you, ma'am. But mind you that a tree cannot make a forest. Yes. Imagine a church without deacons. And some, some of the members have started clamoring. You better have everything than to lose out completely. When comes uh, a mighty exodus to your tent, O Israel? Even the Bible recognizes the fact that there are remnants after war and captivity. I would rather stay with a few faithfuls and give away what my husband labored for all his life. That is my final decision. Expecting it. Mm -hmm. So it was a very big blow on them. Mm -hmm. What did they say? God is just awesome. Oh. Most of them were confused. Mm -hmm. They were confused. Mm -hmm. None of them wants to leave the church. They just want me to resign. Mm -hmm. 
they thought I was going to consent to their wants in a hurry. None of them thought I would refuse. You see, Mom, I told you the best way to fight challenges is to face it squarely. You're right. Taking the bull by the horn has always been the best approach to fighting problems. I told you to God be the glory. Amen. Come on, I know you're tired. I'm hungry. Don't worry. I prepared something for you, like this. I don't want to tell you. Surprise! I don't like surprises, but you know of saying good morning to your sister. There's nothing good about this morning because you're here, so I ask again, what are you doing here? Is someone forgetting something here? The money with which this little firm of yours was established, didn't it come from our father? You know, I'm going to be very cautious right now and tell you to leave my office, else I'll call the security to throw you out. Uh -uh. Don't worry, little brother, it hasn't come to that. Well, mom sent me to you. The fights are over, so she said you cannot come home. Now you go tell your mother that I am very comfortable right now, you understand me? That I'm so, so comfortable, I don't need her husband's property. Yes, really? she broke, yes really, because she broke the family bond the very day she locked me outside her husband's house. You understand? Tell her I'm comfortable, I'm living my life, and I'm happy. Well, unfortunately, this office, where you are standing right now, dropping those sweet lines of yours, also came from my mother's husband. This property belongs to my father. And I was thinking you would also give it out. You know, I'm also thinking that as a married woman, you should show your wisdom, your prowess, and your intellect in your husband's house other than your father's house. Caleb, come home to where you belong. Mom is missing you. Have a nice day. What was his response like? Mom, he's still pretending. But don't worry, he'll come back home. What exactly did he say? He said he's not interested in coming back home. That you broke the family bond holding him to you when you ordered your security man to lock him out of his father's house. Really? But don't worry, Mom. He'll come back to where he belongs. I know. Oh, by the way, I hope you're spending the night with me. Oh, not again. Not again. I have to go home to my family, and you know my husband is already complaining. I don't know why Kamsi and her sister will always want to be quarreling with my father. Eh? See? They are fighting for their rights. Would you? Did yeah. you say rights? Which right is that? Eh? They are fighting for their late parents' land and farm produce. <laughs> yes. Would you? You want to tell me that as old as you are, you don't know that women don't inherit lands in Igbo land? Who is talking about inheritance here? Would you? She's very correct. I mean, since Papa Kamsi is dead, according to our own tradition, everything Papa Kamsi had now belongs to Papa Chinasa. So I think she's very, very correct. I know, but... Please, Uju. Eh? Let's forget this topic for now. Eh? Lose my hair, I want to go. Are we correct? Eh, we are not. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. now. Ah, you should be supporting my, supporting my father. Mm -hmm. Why are you supporting me? Right. 
sketch. I'll do my own. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey. Don't mind Tina Sam. Her father is simply being wicked here. And she's supporting him. That is very bad of her. Very, very bad. At least he should have waited for the girls to get married first. Eh? Before taking over their late father's lands and palm trees. Yes. Where does he want those girls to be getting money from? After the planting season is over. Where? <sighs> Meanwhile, his camps is supposed to be working from one farmland to the other. I mean, is she supposed to be doing that? Oh. So Papa Chinansa will not allow his own children to weed in other people's farm. But he will want his niece to die in hard labor. Imagine. That's very bad. Please, let me let me let me go inside. Take good care of yourself, okay. eh? Bye bye. Yeah? <laughs> All right, bye -bye. now. Thank you. Bye -bye. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> You loosened your hair? Yes, Papa. Mm. Papa, do you know that people are already gossiping with your name in this village? That you're being wicked to Uzoba and her sister, Kansi. As if you did anything wrong with taking what belongs to you. <laughs> My dear daughter, in this life, the day you start listening to what people say at your back, that day you will start to die. Don't listen to them. The um, go to the backyard and help your mother. Evil, the soul of man is so bad. Destroying one another for the things of this world. The reward of wickedness is That's it. You know what? I'm never ever going to that house. Never going to that house. You understand me? Not now, not tomorrow, not in the nearest future. Never again. Caleb, listen to me. That woman is still your mother, and you are still a member of that family. No, 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 no longer a member of that family. I am not a member of that family. You know what? The way I feel right now, I could change my surname. Yes, I could just change my surname. Do you know what she did? No, do you know what she did? She told an absolute stranger, the gate man, to lock me outside my own house, outside my inheritance. What are you talking about? I'm no longer a member of that family, and that's it. I agree. Good. Cool off the steam, man. Cool off your steam. Look. A decision taken in anger is a decision taken in foolery. Yeah, 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 but you remember every man has an atom of foolery in him. Every man has an atom of foolishness in him. I know. Yes. I agree with you. But you still have to listen to me. No, 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 you are not listening to me. You are not listening to me. Because if you are listening to me, you will understand what they did and you want them to go back to the house. Kellen, look. I need to let you understand. Kellen, listen to me. No, but, let, let me. Hey, 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 hey. Can you just stop, 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 stop. Now listen. My mother has lost me. You understand? That woman will sort me out and she'll never find me because she has lost her son. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Now, if you have something to offer me, like food, so I can have my dinner right now, or I'll go outside and eat, thank you. Offer you something. Okay. Thank you. You need to come with me now, 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 now. You need to follow me, oh. What is it that you want to tell me that you didn't change any from before coming to tell me what you want to tell me? Sister, oh, yeah, me, you come more with me. Get my for me now. What are they, oh? On my way to the fact, can't lose you no know, night. As I just got to the house, I just saw our house. Decorated with, um, in fact, okay, Omu. I on. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Sister, Madu. Get Plenty Omu. No, so bye. Sabah, will I mean, Muna? 
What again now? And I seriously suspect Uncle Onoa. It's only that man that can do such a hideous thing. Oh yeah, boy, you know. Do offense. Somebody should go and warn him. Somebody should go and warn him. I'm not going to hide me. I'm not going to find me. What exactly have we done to him? Nothing. Get it for? Won't he leave us alone? He should leave us. Oh no. Oh no. Why can't you allow these children be? Why can't you allow them be? Oh no. Do offense. It's because you're the eldest in this village. That's why I'm respecting you. My care can't just suck and you always for us. If not, I'll just march down to that house. Does it even in a hoko eleba? I'll just pull down everything. Don't say that type of thing. Don't say that type of thing, my daughter. Eh? Don't you ever, don't you ever, in your lifetime, dream of going to remove an omu place on a disputed property by someone. Never you do that, unless you want the ghost to strike you down. Strike on your down. Mu abi chuzo man I want them come see. Or do possible, uncle. I have far to see family. Amen. We do not worship man-made gods. This, I don't say happy, happy. We are Christians, we are not pagans. You've known that, so we're not afraid. Strike on you. Can you know what? Chelo, 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 It's in my father's house, it's a disputed property. How would this girl go and change from this uniform? Wouldn't she eat some lunch? Offensively, men yotala. So you want to destroy our custom and sister believe because they are Christians? Eh? Oh. Nobody enters that house. As long as that Omu is there, he has to come and remove it before you enter there. By himself? So, if he decides not to remove it, what will become of us? Where are we going to sleep? Um, calm down. Calm down, my daughters. Calm down. Um, just find somewhere you can stay with your sister. I will look for one or two elders to go and speak to him. And Inquire why he did that. Yes. I know the possibility of removing it immediately. Oh no. Please, for the interest of peace, go and remove that. I will never, never, never remove that one. Kamsi and her sister, they have pity more than they can chew. We know. We have decided to look into your matter tomorrow. But meanwhile, go and remove them so that they enter into the house this night. You better start going home. Not even God can make me remove that home. Kamsi will follow me to the palace tomorrow. And before the Igwe and Indichie, tell me when the women have started to inherit palm produce and land in this village. So where do you want them to pass the night? Where? I don't care. They can go anywhere. Oh no. You are simply portraying your wickedness in the disguise of tradition. Oh, listen to me. Tradition was meant to protect human life and happiness. I need to destroy them. Go and remove that one. What is wrong with you? Don't you have hands? Go and remove it by yourself. I should go and remove it by myself. Yes. I should go and remove it by myself. You have hands. Oh no. Oh no. So, he insists you will not remove this thing, okay? What do you know, man, weapon? Come and pass the night in my house, you and your sister. But I don't know. See, uncle, I have had enough of you people's tradition. I've had enough of this useless tradition. Okay, lady. Eh? And, and if he doesn't want to remove it, I'll remove it by myself. Negona, this girl will live in here. She hasn't had her lunch. And the food I kept in the soup I kept in the house will soon go sour. He said, Mom, come and stay in your house. This is not my father's house.
are the one who says that our tradition is useless and meaningless. I didn't say so. So? Who told you to remove the omu that your uncle placed at your doorpost? Igwe, why would he do such a thing? Why would he put that thing there? Eh? Where did he expect us to sleep when we had a house? And how was I supposed to warm my new pot of soup? Shut up your mouth! Who are you addressing like that? Leave her! Let her wash her dirty linens outside. We are here talking about a tradition that is as old as humanity. And you are telling us your pot of soup. Pachanya go! Enoya? It is obvious that your parents did not give you adequate home training. And that is why you refused to marry and rather decided to stay back home so that you can drag lands and properties with your uncle. Igwe, what wrong did I do now? What kind of what wrong did I do? What were we supposed to do to sleep outside when we have a house? Which house? Don't you know that the house now belongs to him? Onye? Oh, yeah. Onwa. Oh, oh. hmm. You can't say a thing like that now. That, that house was built by my father and he left it for us. Left for you and the who? My me and my sister. Indeed. It is obvious that you have no regard whatsoever for our custom and tradition. Onowa, what Igwe. do you want? Igwe, this girl has no respect for me. Not one single respect. All because she still lives in that house. Eh? She stops the workers from working in my farmland and people from buying my produce. I want her to pack out from that house and live in my house with my wife. So that my eyes will be on them. Mwanka, Shneke na ye kui fojo, mwana chuzopa. To come and live with you. Igwe, this cannot happen, no. How dare you? How dare you utter such rubbish in my presence? Even in the presence of the Indiche. How dare you? Quiet you! Neboli, sir! Neboli, sir! Take four guards with you. Follow this man to his house. He will show you another house where this young girl lives with her sister. Throw them out of that house immediately. And let me see her. Let, let her show us the secret of her strength. Oh. Of us to stay outside. Why don't we just move in with him? God forbid. Who born me? It's not good. Instead of me to move into that man's house, Jebilini Mofiani. Yeah. Wali Bum Jeba Billy Abili. God forbid. So where would you rather have us live? Mm. I get business. Oh, we'll sit here, Jim. If it's the city we'll go to or another village. No father, no mother, no help. This is no, 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 no. I mean, if and when we get to the city, in whose house are we going to stay? How do we survive? Can you guys sell in the market? Oh, no, yeah, Emma. Go away, my sister. Was there no? Oh, yeah, Emma. She's over. Sister, was there no way? She's over. As long as my two hands and my two legs are working, we will survive. Oh? Okay. 
so worried. Man, my sister, I thought the Bible said that God in heaven, that God in heaven is the God of the orphans. I thought the Bible said that God is the defender of the weak. I thought that is the one the Bible. I want so cool. Why is God up there and allowing all these things to happen to us? Oh, I want to call it and enjoy. I, I was saying that many that you cannot look down and have mess. <laughs> Since that was there, no. Jesus. God still works in mysterious ways. <coughs> I believe he's still the father, so the fatherless. Mm. Oh. Oh, the <laughs> in Africa. The spokesman of the UN trip to Nigeria added that true and effective journalism is the only agent of change that Africa needs to meet up with the challenges of the new age. Goodness, my own Caleb, my son. the network news. No mom. I'm in the kitchen. Any news? Your brother Caleb, my son, is now a celebrity. He's on network news. Mom, it's no longer news. He's on the first page of all our national dailies. Yes, I first thing in the morning so that we can talk. Okay, okay, okay. I will. Good night, Mom. All right, dear. Good night. Keep trying, he will pick. Okay.
Ramsey, right? Yes. Yes, yes, she's over. Well, why? What happened? And what are you doing in Lagos, by the way? long story. Sent us out of our father's house. What? Yes. I mean, that is inhumane. That 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 that's being wicked. So where do you live now? Hmm. hmm. Under the bridge, John. Uh, Mr. Bagwanian. Under the bridge. Three months now. For the three months now. Three. Three. How can people be? Well, it's a good thing this uh, happened now, and uh, it's a good thing I met you girls now. Um, you see, um, the UNO has uh, given me a contract uh, to fight gender discrimination in Africa via the power and voice of the press. Hmm. And I think I would start with your case because I feel it's a very special one. Gender discrimination. Hmm. How are you going to fight them? I'm a journalist. We journalists fight with our cameras, our pens, and voices. Uh, in the meantime, you will not stay under the bridge no more. No, not to worry. In the meantime, um, I think I have somewhere you will stay uh, pending when I get you proper accommodation. Yes. No more under the bridge. Yes. No hey. more under the bridge. Brother, thank you. It's okay. Thank it's you okay. so just, much. Just, God it's bless okay. you. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you. The ladies here in front of your screen are victims of gender discrimination in Africa. This house where they stand was built by their late father. Now they've lost their father and mother, which makes them orphans. They're being thrown out of their home into the streets 
because of one ancient tradition here which states that no female child has a right to inheritance. Now I'm going to talk to the elder one by name Kamsi to tell us what she has to say. Um, my sister and I were born in this house. We grew up here and after our parents died, they took everything my father owned away from us. His properties, his farms, his land, this land, this house, everything. 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 Nothing, nothing was left for us to survive on. So uh, we, we live on the streets now. Okay. Um, now you say this house was built by your father? Yes. yes. This is my father's house. Live here? You've lived here all your life? I, I said we're bo both born here. Now, if you get into this home forcefully, what do you think your father's kinsmen will do to you? Oh, they will kill us. Is it that you have not been hearing us? It's tradition. They, they will, will kill, kill us. Die. And it's just it's even, it's even, I'm a bit scared that we're standing it's here right now. It's because of people that we're having uh, conscious yes. minds. We're having minds. I do really hate it's very risky, all risky things. Are you serious? Yes, yeah. yes. So can we do it quick? Yeah. My uncle took everything. Took everything. This is my father's plantation. He took everything from us. Yeah. He's the one that harvests and sells and takes yeah. all the money, yeah. all the crops. This one is just one of them. Uh, there are more inside, inside the village, but we can't go there. There's no time. So why don't we just go to the other plantations? And I don't know if, if it was the court that sent them. They came with one boy videoing everywhere. And Kamsi was saying so many things in front of the camera. Is that why you are afraid? Even if it is the court, if they like, let them bring the whole army or the police. We are strongly behind you. Those people come from somewhere. And they also have customs and traditions in those places. Onua, go back to your house. Nothing will happen. I repeat, nothing will happen. We are here. All right, thank you. Thank you. Always call them. I'm not speaking it. Why are you being this hard to the woman? And what's your business? Is she your mother? Sorry, it's your call. Yes, um, you see your issue has become very big, very, very big, I tell you. And lots of people are providing support and also not only in comments but in cash. Wow, are 
Are you serious? Yes, yes. Now the UNO has agreed to provide you and your sister a house. What? Not only that, not only that, they have agreed to also support your very self and your sister through your formative years till you graduate from the university. That's fast. Are you serious? Wow. Now on my own part, I'll say this. The money that has been given to me by the UNO, you know, it's enough for me to say that um, we are made for life. Yes. We. Well, you found that out late. Too late. You broke the family bond that existed between you and I. When did you do this? When you asked the gate man to lock me out of my father's house. Your husband's house.